welcome to this part of the course so in this video i am going to teach you how to connect django and cloudinary together so from this video you are going to learn how to work with django and cloud and the cloudinary cdn so the first thing that we want to do is um we want to first start by installing the django cloudinary um, library that we are going to use to connect our django project and cloudinary so break out of your server by saying control c uh, and then i want you to run a command pip install django underscore django underscore cloudinary dinary underscore storage so pip install django cloudinary storage so once you run this it's going to install the Django Cloudinary storage for us and it will soon be done. I'm just going to pause here and wait. Okay, that's already installed. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to our settings.py file inside our project and we need to tell Django that, okay, Django, we have this library installed. So we need, we need to add it to installed apps. So let's head to our settings.py file and at the top of the settings.py, we need to import this library so we're going to say import cloudinary underscore storage now once we've done done this the next thing we need to do is we need to go to our settings.py file and let django know that we have this app installed so the first thing that we are going to type here is we're going to type cloudinary and then we'll put a comma and after typing cloudinary we're going to go down and type cloudinary storage cloudinary underscore storage now after telling django that we have this library installed in our installed apps we now need to scroll to the bottom of this file and we need to tell django that we want to make our default storage uh cloudinary so the first thing that we need to do is we need to declare a few parameters that is going to help us connect our Django project to Cloudinary. So just type exactly what I'm typing now. So we'll say Cloudinary storage. Sorry, it should be in capital letter. Cloudinary underscore storage. And then we're going to equate this to a dictionary. And inside this dictionary, the first thing that we're going to pass in is cloud name. So in quotes here, I'm going to say cloud underscore name. And then we'll first put a code a, a colon here now the value we're going to assign to cloud name is our cloud name on the cloudinary dashboard so i want you to head to your web browser and then i want you to log in now once you log in you are going to notice uh some details here account details you're going to notice the cloud name api key and api secrets now these are the three values that we're going to use to connect our django project to cloudinary so I want you to go and copy this cloud name. Once you've copied it, go back to your Django project and in quotes, I want you to paste this right there and then put a comma. So after declaring what cloud name is, the next thing we need to declare is API key. So we're going to say uh, API key, API underscore key. And then that is going to be copied from the dashboard right here. Once you copy that, uh, just go back and paste it. And then the next thing we need to copy is the API secrets. So let's just say type API underscore secrets and put the colon there. And go back to the dashboard and copy API secrets. Once you've copied that, just put it in quotes and uh, paste it. So after doing this, we need to uh, take one last step. We need to set our default file storage to this uh, to our cloudinary. Now, how do we do that? What we are going to say is, we are going to say default D -E -F -A -U -L -T, default file storage is going to be equal to type exactly what I'm typing in right now. It's going to be equal to cloudinary cloudinary underscore storage dot storage cloudinary underscore storage dot storage 
dot media cloud narrow storage dot media ordinary storage now let me take this away so default file storage is going to be cloudinary underscore storage dot storage dot media cloudinary storage now note that this media cloudinary storage all the first letters of each word starts with a capital letter so take note of that now once you've done that just save it and that should be all the changes that we need to make now if we try to go back to um our cloudinary go to your media library and then uh notice that uh this is just all we have presently now the next thing that we need to do is go back to our blog project and then the first blog we have let's try to upload a new picture so just click the first blog that we have okay we need to run our server so we're going to say python manage.py run server so once we run this command it's going to run our server for us uh, any minute now any minute now okay so now let's go back and check our projects let's refresh so what we're going to try now is we're going to try to upload a file um let's pick uh a picture of rick and let's hit open and then after doing that let's save this uh our let's save our change and it might take a while but it's going to upload so i'm going to pause here and wait okay so right now it has saved let's go back to cloudinary if you come back to cloudinary and refresh you are going to notice that there is going to be a new folder named blog dash post dash dash image now why is it a new folder named blog post image if you go back to uh, your models.py file inside your code in your code uh you are going to notice that we give this uh image field we told it to upload this picture to blog dash post dash image so right now this picture has been uploaded to this folder that is just created and once we open this folder you are going to see that the picture that we uploaded from our phone from our um, file explorer which is a picture of rick has been uploaded to cloudinary so we can see our code is working perfectly well we've been able to connect our Django project to uh cloudinary and if we click this uh if we click this blog post and we scroll down you can see in the url it's linked properly so that is how to link uh your jungle project to cloudinary thank you for watching this video's video guys if this was helpful please don't forget to like share subscribe and come back for more in the next video we are going to talk about uh displaying retrieving blog posts from the back end and displaying this blog post in the front end now you can see our project is really coming together right now so thank you for watching this video and i'm going to see you in the next one